right, boys and girls, welcome to Bob's Barn Workshop. Okay, hey, there's a familiar face, the Astro Van. Well, you know, I bought this Astro Van two years ago in a couple of months, uh, actually two and a half years or so, and the air conditioning never worked. And uh, I did get a new compressor for it. It's mounted on the mounts, but uh, I've never uh, hooked up the power to run it. It's just been there basically as an idler pulley. And you saw another video of how to con change the condenser, so I'm not going to go through all that. I have to pull out the grill part here and uh, and open the hood and get the condenser to change it. But what I need to do first is I need to take off the condenser. I need to remove the accumulator that's in there. I need to remove the TX valve from the back evaporator. I have to pull out the orifice for the front evaporator. I have mineral oil to lubricate the O-rings. I have my flushing tool, which my son-in-law is a GM mechanic, so uh, he has these tools. I got my flush, mineral oil to lubricate the O-rings. I have the three pounds of uh, refrigerant. I've got my vacuum pump. I've got my gauge kit. I've got a brand new condenser because they say they're so fine you just cannot flush them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this... Uh, Condenser pulled out, the evaporator pulled out, not the evaporator, the uh, accumulator. And uh, I'm going to pull open the back, and we're going to flush all those lines by blowing the solvent through. Now, you've seen people do that. You put your solvent in the little tank, hook it up to your air compressor, disconnect both ends of the lines, and you just blow the solvent through, and then a lot of air to dry them out. It's very volatile, so it'll evaporate quickly. And then when you hook up your uh, vacuum pump and leave it for a long time running, it will uh, actually make that stuff evaporate more and pull it all out of your system so it's perfectly clean. All right, I'm going to get set up and we'll do that. Ouch! That hurt. I got another lost bolt. Watch out, the whole van will fall apart here. I'm going to have to get under there and find that because that's a screw. One of those tapered high type fine thread. Alright. Probably need to loosen that. What do you think? A 13? hand tight because I had it apart before. O-ring. O-ring. Out. I'm going to have to pull the snorkel out of here. This just pops off rubber three flies leaves here. Put that there. Now we can get to it. There's my orifice. There's a little white tapered orifice that lives right in there that we've got to get out. That's not a serviceable joint. We're going to have to take 
pressure switch is going to have to be replaced, I'm guessing. All right, revelation. This doesn't turn, but this screws out. Yeah. That fitting is fixed. So this is the front evaporator. And I was just studying how air conditioning works. And it literally just squeezes the heat out of the refrigerant. When the refrigerant comes into the compressor, it's at a high volume, low pressure state. But it does have so much, a certain amount of uh, heat in it. When it goes through the compressor, the compressor squeezes it together lowering the volume but increasing the temperature. It comes out of the compressor through the condenser where the air blowing through it takes the heat out of the compressed liquid. Then it goes back up and into that small orifice. And when it goes through the small orifice, it's like a spray nozzle that holds back the pressure a little bit and lets it go through at a metered rate. And when it does, it sort of atomizes and expands again, like coming out of a spray can. And when it does that, it gets extremely cold because all the heat was taken out of it. And when it expands volume, it just makes it get cold. It's an amazing uh, uh, effect of uh, science. Okay, this is called the accumulator. I guess that's where it picks up the liquid. We've got to get this valve off and recycle it. Because that's part of the system. But this is just getting replaced because I have no way of, of uh, cleaning it. crap out of the plumbing as I can. All right. This is where our orifice goes. And oh yeah, I can see the tip of it. So just a pair of I'm saying I probably want to back flush this. Let's see if I can get this down in there. I'd really like that to be out of the way. Come on. You can get a hold of that orifice. That's it. The tall end goes up. And it does look like there's a lot of black shit in there. Had an O-ring on it. We need to back flush this. 
You need to flush all these lines. That comes from the accumulator. The condenser, that's funny. Because that looks like a high pressure line coming back. You see, this is a... Uh, I gotta get the line. The, the compressor already has uh, oil in it for the system, they said. So I guess I have to trust it. Total change of plans. I've been trying to get the fittings and stuff off in the rear evaporator. Everything is seized up so bad. I'm going to have to cut pipes and replace a whole bunch of lines. So I've decided I'm just going to eliminate the rear evaporator because this is just used as a cargo van anyway. So what I have to do is cap off the lines that go to the back. Well, here's the T. There's the line that goes to the back. I bought some caps, they're 40 bucks a piece. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this line right here. That's what goes to the rear, down the cross, and uh, the return comes back up by the back of the pump. I'm gonna cut that one off. And uh, no guts, no glory. Now I need to leave a little straight space on this. Uh, good thing I got this mini cutter, huh? This is aluminum pipe, it cuts really easy. I'm gonna blow these lines out now before uh, I put them back together so that I know that I got all the junk out of them. The other one I'm gonna have to cut, I think, with a hacksaw blade because I wanna keep it real short and real close to the connector so that I can fit my fitting on. And still, uh, so I hope I'm cutting the right line. <laughs> no, I already traced it out. I crawled around under the van and looked. So there we go with that one. This one will be easy to put on because I can take it right out and it comes down through that hole right there. Okay, so here's what I got. Now these caps, they say to... Uh, Take like a scotch bright. But that looks really clean. Let's see what we got over here. I'm supposed to put pack oil on them. The compression fitting block off is all it says. As I said, these were like 40 bucks a piece. Yeah, it's just tapered just like a, a house fitting. I want to make sure that that gets well up on there. Oh, oh there's a little O-ring in there too. Okay, get the O-ring up in there. Take a couple of double wrenches and uh, All right, we're at the up. point now where uh, I've flushed all the lines. All you do is you take this cylinder a special tool you can get it from AutoZone or I got it from my son-in-law. You fill it about halfway with the solvent, shut off the valve, put up your air, connect it, press it against the end of your pipe, open the valve to let the tank pressurize, and you blow the solvent through all the lines to flush. And then you blow a lot of air through to help dry them out. And apparently this stuff evaporates very quickly. And so now we're going to put it all back together with all new, uh, all new O-rings. I'm going to put some rubber gloves on thing to the new one. So here's the new accumulator. Here's the old accumulator. It just looks like a nylon uh, nut. And it goes on this one. So I'm just going to unscrew that. Already has an O-ring. I don't know how tight this is. Let me get a, see if I can find a wrench that will fit it. 19 is big, I'm sure. 17. It's a 16, I bet. It's a tight 16. So it's probably, oh, there it goes. Okay. It unloosened easy. Ladybug just jumped on my lip. Yeah, it came pretty easy. And it's crusty. But I'm just going to. Lube this a little bit, and uh, 
put it back on. I'm going to try to negotiate all this stuff up in there. Alright, I just had to top up, tap down on the flange of plastic so it would uh, pop in past that, that sharp edge on the pipe. Okay, we're going to start over again. Alright, so the condenser's got to go back in. Well, i got to wipe the grease off my hands again. All right, now we're going to hook up the vacuum gauges. So I'll get those hung up in a minute, and we'll start over here. All right, so we got the gauges all set up. These holes with the little bends go on your gauge set. You only finger tight, only hand tight. This is your breathe, your uh, purging valve when you go to put your coolant in, your refrigerant. The hot line goes to the fitting that it fits on. They can't go on the wrong one because they're different sizes. Low side is on there. Back's here right now. These are both closed. I haven't started my little vacuum pump up yet. I just when I first got it, I tried it to see if it ran. That was it. Somewhere here. All right. So we're gonna open the low side. We're gonna open the high side. We're going to open the low side. We're going to open the high side. We're going to let it pump for a while. And I see the gauges are dropping. And the trick is, is after you get this pump down, yeah, see that one is going negative. Negative 30 is what you want for a good vacuum. You watch it to see if it holds. So we're going to let this pump for a little while. And uh, hopefully... Open is actually clockwise on these. Make sure these guys are tight. Oh yeah, the needles are dropping. Peel this off, I'll see a little better. And what we'll do is when this gets to a certain point, Shut off the pump. 
and see. I'm going to go in and watch the video again on uh, which valves open up when. But I think right now we uh, just let it pump down for a while. That will suck out all of our... Uh, It'll evaporate all of our cooling solv our cleaning solvents that we put in there too. Well, they're holding good anyway. They are open, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let that go. I'm going to go watch Chris Fix shows you how to do this very specifically if you want to see this video again. But uh, i got to go also research how much uh, refrigerant I need in a single loop system. Alright guys, if you want to see how that whole system works, just uh, go to Chris Fix AC Recharge. He uses exactly the same uh, pump kit that I had. He uh, showed me the process. I watched him. So... Uh, I did what he said, and it all worked out. So uh, I still got to put the grill back together in the air box. It's in my ten. I didn't see the ten. All right, guys. I got cold air in there. That's all that matters.